Hi everyone, welcome to Jane's Tutorials. Today in my tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this necklace today. This necklace um, doesn't really have a name, but um, you can call it whatever you would like. You can put what you would like to call it down in the description box below. And yeah, basically I don't have a name for it, it's just a necklace. So anyway, um, this is a on the loom and a on the hook design. So for our first bottom three layers, we'll be doing it on the loom, and then all the rest will be doing it on two hooks. So, um, yeah. And this um, design is also similar to my Latina bracelet. If you do not know the Latina bracelet and you do not know what it is or haven't made it, you should probably go make this first before you make this design. But um, you do not have to. I think it will just make it easier if you have already and by the way I will um, have I will possibly have this down in the description below but if I do not then just search the Latina bracelet or go on my channel so anyway let's move on to how many bands and supplies you'll need for this design <laughs> um, you will need 24 bands for the bottom base as you see clear here you will need 24 bands also for the second layer which is pink and blue jelly and you will need 26 bands for the middle teal as you see there here I'll zoom in a little bit you will need 15 bands for the pink right here and you'll need seven bands for the dark blue right there. And you'll also need about 50 to 70 bands for the necklace part. You will also need two C-clips. So today my colors are going to be Yellow Jelly, which is available at RainbowLoom.com. I'll have the link down in the description below. You will also need two other colors, and I'll be using a pink and a lighter orange from Create a Loops Glow Pack. That pack is available at Target. That is where I got it. And if you're also wondering where I got this neon pink jelly, I got it at Hobby Lobby. So yeah. Um, this design is a two-in-one design, so you can make either the first design or the second design, but they're both the same anyway, um, this part. Um, this part is just going to be the necklace part or the bag part. The bag part can be for a Barbie doll bag. All you have to do is only do six, um, extension parts on each side, and then it can be a Barbie doll bag. And then if you want to make it a necklace for yourself, just do about 50 to 70 bands depending on how long you want it for a necklace. So this is a part one. I will be having part two in the description below so you can go check it out and you won't have any trouble finding out on um, where it is. Um, so yeah. And by the way, if you're wondering if the Creator Loops bands are good, they are pretty good. All you have, they only stretch about three pins, but we won't be stretching more than three pins. So that's why I chose those bands today. Um, but they are, they are not rain balloon bands, but they are in pretty good condition. Um, they are similar to the rain balloon mermaid silicone packet bands, if you have ever had those. They're www.rainballoon.com. And I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background, any wind chimes, or you hear any doors or anything like that. I am outside today. It is really pretty, but the wind is really crazy. But anyway, um, let's get started. I know I've been talking for like five minutes now, so I'll get on to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is have our looms in this position in the staggered configuration with the red arrow pointing away from us. Now we're going to take our border color band. Our border color band is going to be the color of teal right here. So choose which color you want that to be. Mine is going to be um, neon orange. So we're going to go from the first pin to the second pin and continue my motions. 
We're just doing a border as you would a starburst or the zippy chain or any other bracelets like that. So now we're just going to do this all the way up to the top and pull it up one. So this is the last pin on our loom, but we're not going to use this. Now go back to the bottom and do the same process as you did the other side. And it is a pretty easy process. Okay, and pull it up. So now your loom should look something like this now. And we're going to go back to the bottom. And we're going to take... Oops, broken band right there. Oh, I am so sorry. You actually need four colors. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I mistold you guys that. But anyway, you'll need four colors. If you want four colors, or you could just keep using um, three... But I'm going to use four, and I'm so sorry I told you guys wrong. I don't know why I didn't realize that. But anyway, um, I'm going to be, use neon, be using neon green. And I'm sorry, my leg is in the way. All right. And the wind just got really crazy. Everything got really crazy. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on back to the tutorial. So we're going to take the colors that you want the layer, um, the second layer to be. You'll need two colors for that. Um, I will be using pink and, um, wait a second. Oh my gosh. My brain is not working today. Okay, I will be using... <laughs> Oh, yellow jelly and pink so now we're going to take these bands and place them two bands and place them on this pin now we can take double of the color that you want the bottom base to be we're going to take double of those bands and place them right there and now we can take our hook or any other um, you can even use our fingers if you want to. And we're just going to go in there and grab the bottom two. So we just grab them and loop them over, basically. So now we're going to do that for all the pins. Again, take two colors of bands. Place them. Take two more bands. And place them. And then take our hook or fingers or whatever you want to use and um, loop them over. It's a pretty simple process. So, okay, so now we're just gonna continue this all the way up the loom. Okay. Sorry, I was talking to my little sister. Alright. Now we're going to continue that. And you guys are probably way ahead of me now, but... Alright. Oops. And another way you could do this is... You could take your two bands that you're going to use, take two other bands, which is going to be the clear part, slide them on like that, and now take it off, and place them on, basically. So, 
So we're just going to continue this as I've said like 500 times before. <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It wasn't that hard to start off with. Um, it is very different from the Latina bracelet, um, but it still has like a similar look, which I think is really cool. Okay, I'm almost to the top now. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're not going to do it for this pin, we're just going to place double bands vertical, so you don't have to worry about that. And now we're going to rotate our loom and start, so the arrows are facing um, towards us now, sorry I was doing that, but towards us. And we're going to take a cat band, we'll make a cat band, and place it on the very top pin. And now you can probably guess what we're going to do now, but you are mistaken. We're going to take the bands that we have placed and place them on the pins next to them. But we're doing like a zigzag form, so we're going here, 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 here. So now we're going to take these bands and place them there. And these bands and place them here. Take these bands, place them here. These bands and place them here. And you can sort of see a zigzag form, which is pretty cool. So this will go by really quick process. You want to make sure that your border bands are pushed down, which I didn't do. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to continue doing this. So now our loom should look something like this now. And now we can go up here and we can go in the cat band, we're going to go underneath the cat band, grab the top two bands, loop them forward. And then go underneath here, grab the top two bands, and loop them forward. Grab the top two bands, loop them forward. So basically we're doing a triple single, but um, the middle, like these middles are very different. But it's the looping is just the same as a triple single. So now we're going to loop the border. Go underneath there. Go underneath here. And we're going to loop the border. And the reason I'm not looping the border right now is because I am running out of time on the camera, but I will try to squeeze it in. But anyway, we're just going to loop the border up. Okay. 
Okay. Now do the other side. Okay, and now this is the end of part one, and I'll have part two down in the description box below, so you can just click on it and start part two, and I'll see you next time. Bye!